Are you looking to move to Lakewood Ranch, Florida and are overwhelmed by the amount of communities and neighborhoods that make up Lakewood Ranch? In this video, I'm going to give you my top seven communities that have the most amenities in all of Lakewood Ranch. These are the best amenity rich communities in all of Lakewood Ranch. Hi, I'm Ryan Zakos. I'm with Zakos Realty and Design Group out of Sarasota, Florida. I was born and raised here in Sarasota. I started this firm with my father. I currently actually live in Lakewood Ranch and we've had the privilege of helping hundreds of buyers relocate from out of state. A question that we hear often is, I wanna to move to Lakewood Ranch. There's a ton of communities, it's overwhelming, but I wanna be in a community that has tons of amenities where it feels like I'm living at a resort and there's tons to do all the time. So I wanna create a quick video to highlight the seven best communities for that. So let's dive right in. The first criteria I have is that you should be able to find a home easily under $1 million. There are a couple high-end communities in Lakewood Ranch that have wonderful amenities, but obviously if you can't find a home under a million, which some of these communities are 2 million plus, it doesn't really help the average buyer out. So I wanna make sure that these communities are somewhat affordable. The second criteria is I wanna make sure that the amenities are included in the HOA dues. There are some communities in Lakewood Ranch where membership is optional, but on those optional membership communities like Lakewood Ranch Golf and Country Club, you can be in any community in Lakewood Ranch or even in Sarasota and join the club. So that doesn't really necessarily make it a benefit to living in that community. So that criteria is that the HOA dues for those communities include all the amenities within those communities. Third criteria is that it has to have a ton of amenities. I'm going to highlight 12 different amenities here in a second that I feel like every buyer wants within a community. And all these communities have at least seven or eight of these amenities. They are very amenity rich communities. So let's talk about those, those, uh, those amenities that I'm going to highlight within these communities. There are 12 amenities that I want to say are important to buyers that are looking to relocate. Those amenities include a pool, a clubhouse, a fitness center, a full-time lifestyle director, a dog park, a top park or a playground, a golf course or golf courses, tennis, pickleball, a bar or restaurant, maintenance included, which means that the community in the HOA dues actually cut your grass and trim some bushes, but the maintenance for your home is included in the HOA dues. So it's maintenance free, they would call that, as well as it being a gated community. So those are 12 amenities that I think people are looking or targeting when looking at community and what they're offering. All right, so the first bucket of communities that I'm going to highlight are the 55 plus communities. There are two 55 plus communities in Lakewood Ranch and both these communities are spectacular. Del Webb, which is a Pulte de Vasta product, and then there is Crestwind, which is a Coulter product. Both these communities offer almost every amenity you could think of. The one thing that they don't offer is golf. So Del Webb does not offer golf, but it has full service restaurant, it's gated, has a resort style pool, tennis, pickleball, everything you can think of, but there is no golf. And, and for Crestwind, there is no golf, but there's also no restaurant there in Crestwind either. That's the only really difference between those two communities. The HOA dues for those communities are right around $400. And Crestwind's a primarily, it's a single family home neighborhood where Del Webb, you can find some villa options, single family homes, town home concepts, some different housing option types in Del Webb. Both spectacular communities, 55 plus communities. So I lumped those two together because if you're considering Del Webb, you should consider Crestwind and vice versa. Next thing I wanna talk about is a very affordable community, very popular for families for what it's offering, but that's Lorraine Lakes. Really spectacular regarding its amenities. Like I said, it's very family focused. They have a full service restaurant bar. They got every amenity that I just talked about, except for there's no dog park and there's no golf in Lorraine Lakes. It's a Lennar product. It's a lower price point. So it's very affordable for young professionals, young families, and it's definitely a highlight for those type of buyers. Next community I want to talk about is, I'm going to kind of lump two golf communities together, and that's Esplanade and Esplanade Azario, and then also Lakewood National. These are three spectacular communities. Let's talk about Esplanade product first. Esplanade Golf and Country Club is fully built out. There's no new construction there anymore, but Azario does have new construction options. They're the same-ish product. They're both Taylor Morrison. They were obviously very successful at building out Esplanade Golf and Country Club and kind of duplicated that and put that just a little couple, couple miles northeast in um, Esplanade Azario. They're both wonderful communities. They offer every single one of those amenities I just mentioned, including golf. They have both have spectacular golf courses. They offer everything from villas, 
to single family homes to even larger single family homes, stay style homes that back up to the golf course. It's a wonderful community, wonderful product. Amenities are spectacular, probably the best in all of Lakewood Ranch. Resort style pools, fitness centers, restaurants, fine dining, casual dining, I mean, name it, they have everything. It's a wonderful option. Now the HOAs, the way Esplanade does it is they have non-golf deeded lots and they have deeded golf lots. So that HOA is gonna vary. It's gonna be anywhere from the mid 300s all the way up to mid 800s. Obviously, the higher the price point is, those that include the golf. So if you have the HOA dues including the golf, it's gonna be at that higher price point. The lower price point is gonna be the non deeded golf, but you do get access to all the other amenities in the community for that price. Definitely very reasonable on the HOA dues and uh, wonderful community regarding amenities. Lakewood National is a Lennar product. It's very similar regarding the amenities that you're getting, just like at Esplanade, with a casual dining, fine dining. Lakewood National has two 18-hole championship golf courses. They have condos and coach homes and single-family homes. There's tons of different uh, housing options, starting with affordability, you know, in the high 300,000s for a condo, all the way up to well over a million for single-family home. The golf is spectacular. The pool is spectacular. They have a, you know, even a salon in there and just like Esplanade as well, but they have a lot of stuff going on within the community. Golf cart friendly, very community driven, a lot of events and clubs and things like that within both of those communities. So spectacular communities. HOA dues start in the mid 400s and go up to over a thousand. I think the condos now have their dues raised a little bit. So I think they're even like 1100-ish depending on the type of the, the condo location size, all that kind of stuff but it's over $1,000, that does include golf. Great product, something to consider if you're looking for a very amenity rich community at an affordable price point. So the next community I wanna talk about is Star Farms. Star Farms, again, is a wonderful community. There is no golf, but it's going to feature every other amenity that is possible within Star Farms. It's a gated community. There are multiple builders in there. There's custom home builders like Arthur Ruttenberg and Lee Weatherington, but DR Horton is a primary builder in Star Farms. They have affordable townhomes and they also have single family home options all within Star Farms. There's a ton of inventory currently right now in Star Farms, but that will be a wonderful community when it's all built out and fully built out with all the amenities that it's going to offer. Also, what I like about it is the HOA is a lot lower in Star Farms. I think they're starting around that 200s, 200s price point for an HOA and that includes the amenities. Next one, I'm going to talk about, I'm gonna lump two more together in Waterside. There's a Windward community, which is in the Sarasota side of Lakewood Ranch. And then there's Lake House Cove. I love Lake House Cove. Lake House Cove has a little higher price point. There's semi-custom homes in Lake House Cove, but they do have some affordable villa options in Lake House Cove currently. The amenities are great in Lake House Cove. Builders are wonderful in Lake House Cove. I love the Lake House Cove. Part of their amenities is they're actually gonna have a water taxi that's gonna go from Lake House Amenity Center to Waterside Place, which is the downtown area of Waterside. I think that's a wonderful feature because you can walk from your villa or your home, ride your bike to the amenity center, jump on a taxi, go grab dinner, go grab a drink, whatever it is, come back home afterwards and never have to take your vehicles. It's a it's a wonderful option in Lake House Cove. Just a side note, it has eight amenities out of the 12. It's not gated, there's no golf, there's no restaurant, and there's no tennis in Lake House Cove. So that's just a side note for Lake House Cove. Windward's actually got more amenities in Lake House Cove. It is gated and it does have tennis. It does have a couple more amenities than Lake House Cove, but I love Lake House Cove location, builder, stuff like that. Windward is a Neil product. Neil, again, is a wonderful builder and they have some great models, great homes. And then there are also some very affordable villa options in Windward as well. That's Waterside and the Sarasota side of Lakewood Ranch. Those two communities that kind of thought were, they're really close to each other. It's really easy to lump them together, consider, you know, one or the other, great location. Love the geographical location of those communities as you are closer to downtown Sarasota closer to Lido, the beaches, and, and all that Sarasota has to offer. And then I'm gonna dump in the last tier. So this last tier, I'm kind of cheating and probably dumping again a couple communities with each other. But if you want a community with a little bit lower of an HOA, smaller communities, maybe the amenities aren't gonna be as rich as they would be in some of these other communities that I highlighted. All these communities that I highlighted previously have resort style pools and, you know, spectacular fitness centers and a wonderful restaurants and stuff. Like they just feel like you're living in a resort these last tier, it's not gonna feel like that. They're gonna have the amenities. They're gonna have a pool. They're gonna have a little fitness center. They're gonna be gated most likely. So they're gonna have a lot of these amenities that you're looking for, but they're not gonna feel as grand, luxurious as some other communities previously. These communities are Indigo, Sapphire Point, and Sweetwater, those three communities. So you can lump them together because all their HOA dues are in the 200s. So the HOA dues are lower than Lake House Cove and Wentworth. They're gonna be in the 300s. 
Sapphire Point's a Polte product, Sweetwater is an MI product, and Nigo is a Neil product. All those communities are gated. There's no golf, tennis, or restaurants in those communities. There's a dog park in Sapphire Point that's not in the other communities. And then Sweetwater does have pickleball, where other communities don't have pickleball. So that's something to consider. But in my mind, if you're going to consider Sapphire Point, you should consider Sweetwater. They're right around the corner from each other. They offer similar amenities. And the same thing with Indigo. So those three communities are kind of lumped together as you're kind of going to get the same look and feel regarding what the amenities are for those communities. And you should consider all three of those if that's where you're targeting lower HOA, more modest amenities and a affordable home price point. That's what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that you got some value out of it. If, please don't hesitate to reach out. I'd love to hear your questions, get your feedback and shoot me a call or text. And I look forward to helping you with your house move. Talk to you soon. Thanks. Thank you.